Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In this video, I'm going to talk about the idea of uniform distribution and this is related to a discrete distribution, yeah? So, here we have a random variable x and it can take k different values which means it has k different categories and um, this value here can happen with equal probability so therefore um, this type of setting is known as um, x having a discrete uniform distribution okay so the probability mass function of x is given by this formula right here in the box and you can see that the values for x are different so here we got x1 x2 and xk up to k categories therefore um, the probability for each category to happen is going to be 1 over k now a simple example would be something that you have seen before let's say uh, you have toss a fair die and you observe the result so this experiment here has six different outcomes so we can have uh, uh, the possibility of getting one dot two three four five and six so there are six categories okay so six different values so here we got um, six different values and because the nature of experiment or the nature of the setting is that the die is fair therefore um, the outcome here can has can can have the same probability so we got equal probability in this case and to get the probability of that we just need to divide one with how many categories uh, it has so here we got like six different categories therefore the probability of that is going to be one over six for each of this outcome okay and it is also easy to see that the mean and variance of that random variable x so basically here we are talking about expected value of x the mean of random variable x where x is the uniform distribution is given by this formula right here and this one is specifically talking about finding the variance of x and the variance of x is given by this formula right here okay Mm. now we're going to try and, and see why the results given here are as such and we're going to do a little bit of proving okay and it is uh, quite simple really okay um let's start off with uh, proving this part uh, that the mean of x is given by uh, this one here on the right hand side okay um, first of all uh, maybe we can start off by imagining uh, we have a some sort of table where here are the values of possible x okay and here we've got all the possible categories maybe x1 x2 and it goes on until xk and here we can come up with the probability of each outcome which is going to be 1 over k for for each of them happening yeah so um, now we are going to start off with the usual idea of finding ax which you have already seen in chapter 4 and this is just the summation of x times fx and we're going to take each values of x and you multiply that with uh, its fx yeah mm, so what we have here is uh, we can see from the table above we can have the combination of x1 times with 1 over k plus the combination of x2 1 over k plus blah 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 um, sorry this is xk xk 1 over k and you can see that um, 
this one is the summation process where the difference is just at this uh, little number over here 1 2 until k so we can uh, mathematically uh, represent that with uh, this symbol this is the summation process where you have x with subscript i to denote the differences in the number that you can observe when i is 1 2 and so on so here we can replace this with i equals to 1 until k and this is multiplied with 1 over k okay so uh, basically uh, we have managed to show that dx which is mu is equal to this uh, part right here on the right hand side um, right now um, let's move on to this uh, second part here finding the variance of a uniform random variable so uh, we can see that there is this notation right here so okay we can start off with that uh, what we have is um, maybe I can just erase this part <clears throat> okay so now what we have is we can uh, use the idea of uh, variance x uh, this is actually the uh, second uh, moment about the mean uh, this is what we have seen before and second moment about the mean means we have expected value of x minus the mean which is expected value of x and then you, you square it so that's the idea of second moment about the mean and uh, to simplify you can write down as e x minus mu because expected value of x here is actually we're talking about mu about the mean and you square it okay and uh we know how to find the expected value of any given function this is just simply replacing this function uh right next to um, our fx so that's what you have learned in uh, chapter four all right mm. So what we have here is we are going to uh, keep replacing x and fx. So here what we have is, um, okay, I'm just going to write down here what we have is we're going to have x1 minus mu, you square it, times fx1. So you start with the first x and then you move on to the second x, x2 minus mu, square it, fx2. And then you're going to keep on doing that until the last x, which is xk minus mu, you square it, fxk. Okay, and uh, this process right here, of course, you can uh, replace uh, this probability here with what you have already known, which is 1 over k for each one. So there you go, we can just replace it with 1 over k, 1 over k plus this one here multiply it with 1 over k and we keep on doing that until the last one mm, with 1 over k and you can see that in this process uh, we have just the summation process which can be elegantly uh, represented by this uh, symbol right here and the difference is that we we have different number little number here little subscript here uh, which is 1 2 until k and that can be easily represented with the use of i right here maintain the rest of the term you have mu you have squared and you have 1 over k and i can be uh, defined starting from 1 until until k okay so um, that's what's going on here and it is quite simple really okay let's move on to some uh, practical example here we've got uh, x uh, said to be a discrete random variable 
and is said to be uniformly distributed. That means the probability is equal for each category. And x here can take all these values, sorry, all these values uh, in this pattern. Well, basically, uh, what you have here is you have, uh, you can construct a table if you want, okay? You can construct this simple table where x can take values such as 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and 22. And you're going to have the same probability for each category really so you need to know how many categories we have mm. so the number of categories we have clearly is 12 therefore the probability for each one here is going to be 1 over 12 1 over 12 and it's going to be the same probability for each outcome given here so that's 1 over 12 therefore if you want to find the mean so here we're going to find the mean so mean is just ex and we know uh, that already the idea is just you have to multiply x with fx and basically you're going to take x with its fx you multiply them together and then add them up for the next one and you continue doing that in that in in, the, in this manner until the last one yeah so what you have is 0 times 1 over 12 plus 2 times 1 over 12 and since the pattern is as such you can just you know shorten your writing and just say that you have to do it until the end for 22 1 over 12 and the result that you get is going to be um, well 1 over 12 here can be factored out so 1 over 12 0 plus 2 plus 4 blah 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 until 22 and this one here will give you the result as such 1 to 2 over 12 which is equal to 11 okay so that's the expected value of x okay so let me just write down here the mean is 11 okay next we are going to find what's the variance of x okay and now let me just erase this part So, uh, variance of x, well, you can apply the formula which you have seen uh, in the previous chapter. You know, it can be found by finding the expected value of x squared minus ex and you square it. And ex has already been obtained. The result is 11. The mean here is 11. So, we are all right on that. And our job now is just to find what is ex squared okay so um, e x you square it is just uh, taking this uh, function that you want to find and put it right next to our fx and we know that x squared means you have to square all these values okay so we are going to start with squaring 0 you square it multiplied with fx which is 1 over 12 plus 2 you square it with 1 over 12 plus 4 you square it with 1 over 12 and you keep on doing it until the last value which is 22 you square it 1 over 12 and of course 1 over 12 can be factored out okay so we have 1 over 12 0 plus 4 plus 16 plus blah 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 okay so uh, final result for that is going to be um, 5 0 6 over 3 so that is the value of ex squared mm, our job is to find the variance therefore variance of x is going to be this value 5 or 6 over 3 which is this one and we're going to minus uh, the mean uh, that has been squared so we're going to minus 11 uh, squared okay and the result that you will get is going to be about 143 over 3 and uh, I hope you can try this on your own and hopefully you'll be able to reach uh, the same
conclusion or the same answer as uh, what is shown right here on this video okay that's all for now thank you very much for watching